everybody, it's Miss Lori. Thanks so much for joining me. I have a few things with me today. I'm going to show them to you and we'll talk about what they do. So I have this first, a measuring cup. You know what you use this for? Yeah, um, it measures liquids in either cups or, oh, I had that on the metric side. Maybe that makes more sense with it. Cups or ounces. But anyway, it's used to measure liquid. And then I have this with me, which is a tape measure. And that helps us to measure height and length, width. You can do it in inches or centimeters. So it helps us measure different kind of thing. And then I have this with me, a stopwatch. Do you know what you do with that? It measures time, like if you're having a race, like it starts. And then when you're at the finish line, it stops and it tells you how long it took you to finish that race or whatever your timing. It measures time. So all these things measure things. In today's scripture, we get to hear one of the most famous Bible verses in the Bible. I don't know, maybe of all time. It's John 3.16. When I say John 3.16, some of you may even know it after I say that because you've heard it before. It is such an incredible verse because it sums up the message of Jesus in one sentence. Sometimes you see John 3.16 written on signs in concerts or sporting events. Say it with me if you, if you do know it when I've said John 3.16, and maybe that has made it where you're like, oh, I know that verse. Let's say it together if you do. And if not, then listen and you'll learn it. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Yeah, wow. That's, that's the whole message right there. God loves the world. He doesn't just love one part of the world. He loves the whole world and everyone in it. And if we wanted to measure his love, could we use any of these things that I brought? The measuring cup, the tape measure, the stopwatch. Can we measure that? I think it would be hard. It is so hard to even comprehend the love that God has for us. It's what we call immeasurable. We cannot measure it. It is so, so vast, so big, so wonderful. And how God showed us that love was by sending his son to earth to live with us. His one and only son, as the verse says. And he knew when he sent him that he would have to die for our sins to be forgiven. Our sins, that fancy word for our mistakes or our bad choices. And it also, by sending his son to die, it opened up a chance for us, for our sins to be forgiven and for us to be able to live and be with God forever. It's just immeasurable. We cannot measure this love. But we can experience it and we can help others experience it. We have a few more weeks of Lent. Remember that time in the church year when we are preparing for Easter? So we are continuing to prepare, but soon it will be Easter and we will celebrate Jesus being risen, Jesus rising from the dead. And we will celebrate God's love for us, a love that is so special, it cannot be measured. Let's say a prayer together, and then we're going to do a little something with that verse. Um, as usual, I will, give a, I will say the prayer and leave us time for you to repeat it after me if you'd like to. All right, let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for your love, a love so great that it cannot be measured. Thank you for sending Jesus so that we could be forgiven and be with you forever. Amen. Okay, so I have a, a, um, a, just a, some fun 
motions that go with John 3 16 because sometimes when we practice motions or sing a song or whatever it just helps us remember the verse better so if this is a verse you don't know or even if it's one you do um, let me just show you some motions. so I'll show them to you first and then we'll we'll do them together and see how it goes all right so when we say for God you're gonna point like up to God like up to heaven for God and then so loved you're gonna crisscross your arms like this like you're giving yourself a hug so loved and then when we say the world raise your arms up here I know you can't see all of me in it but you know what what I'm doing put your arms up like the like our circle like the world that he gave you're gonna just kind of give a chance like this start here and just that gave like you're handing someone something that he gave his one that's easy just do the number one and then when you say only son, you're going to, you can't see this, but you're going to put your arms straight out like you're making a cross with your body. So his only son. And then that whoever, like this, you know, whoever, just your hands out like that, whoever, and believes in him. We're going to point right here, like to our head or our brain, believes in him. Will not perish, shake like no, 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 we're not going to die but have eternal life. So just kind of start with the crisscross and just over your face, eternal life. Okay. I know it's a little bit hard when you can't see all of me, but I think you can get it. So let's just try it together once. And then you can watch the video more than one time if you want to figure it out. All right, so here we go. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him will not perish but have life everlasting great thank you i hope that will be fun that may be something that you can do just to practice and, and learn that verse also, this week, if you come to Jaywalkers, I think you'll have a chance to um, practice it some more in there, too. So thanks for joining me this week. It's good to be with you and hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.